voila. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. I'm saying goodbye oh, one second. Careful. What? I will honk on the street and say bye bye. Oh, it's dead. She's going to say goodbye to her grandfather, and my father in law. Ah, big news, you guys. We are heading down right now to go see Taylor Swift. Yes, I feel like there may not be any more work for me to do in my life. This could be the culmination of everything I've worked for. Um, but publicly, I'm just taking her to go see Taylor Swift. This has nothing to do with me. Uh, I'm just the dad dragging, you know, being dragged to this concert I don't really want to go to. I mean, hey, I love my kid, so I'm gonna take her to a show. Uh, you know, you do, you, you, sa you sacrifice for your children. That's what you do. You sacrifice your own desires and wishes for, for the good of your kids. That's what I'm doing right now. I wonder if he knows he's Levi Stadium. Uh, that Uber drive was fun. Uh, we got to listen to a podcast on the way over, 100% dedicated to cremation, <laughs> all things uh, disposing of dead bodies. I'm pumped for this concert. I mean, that was like the perfect free concert information that I needed. How much power a cremation takes in. A whole bunch more. Cousin Beatrice and my sister came to the show. Different place, but we saw him afterwards. Pretty cool. Oh my gosh, that guy has no shirt on. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. Okay. Found barking on the four to five hour drive home. Uh, amazing show. The travesty of the night was the uh, horrible organization of the whole place. It took us an hour and a half, hour and a half, just to get an Uber after the show. Not the end of the world, but I had a freaking Whole Foods pizza waiting for me in the hotel room, and they made me wait for it. Hour from home. Awesome, perfect. Yeah. Hi, how are you? And we're back. Great trip, incredible. Uh, Taylor Swift. 
she did her job. She did her job. Nailed it, great. Uh, we listened to four to five hours of Taylor Swift straight down, four hours uh, back today, less traffic. So that's nine hours plus the two and hours of the concert, that's 11 hours in two days. I'm good, I need a little break from Taylor Swift. Uh, I don't love her less, I just need a little break. One of my favorite things that Luna said during the concert was when Taylor Swift came out, she said, you know when you see people like this live, you realize they're just people. I was really happy to hear that because as a parent, that decreases her chance of falling into what I call the guru problem. If you've listened to my podcast, you know what I'm refer referencing. Just sort of falling into that cult of personality. She's seeing Taylor Swift's amazing and it's great and she loves her music and would love to meet her. But it's their people and you can love their work and even their ideas, but that doesn't necessarily mean they themselves are flawless or larger than life. Got it, dig, cool, okay, good. Also, just with the driving, I just need to like unwind right now. It's just a long day and we're a little tired, so we're just gonna kinda chill. So I'm doing my very, very favorite thing uh, when I get home from trips that just helps me kinda, this is kinda free advice for you guys if you wanna have something that's like really effective to unwind um, after being tired and fatigued and stressed, I highly recommend uh, the following. I took her to a Taylor Swift concert. The least I could do uh, to, for her is to help her clean the stall. It's, I owe her at least that. Nothing, you have nothing to say, Maury? 